Now on Sunday Sports Extra, a familiar name, a familiar face. Eric Elkin, he of course was our Duck reporter for over two years. He's now the sports director at the ABC station in Dayton, Ohio, where he covers Ohio State football. Eric, welcome back to Sunday Sports Extra. How are you? It is very good to be back. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I've, been, I've been pretty good, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this, uh, this, this national championship matchup. It's the perfect matchup for you. And we just heard from Dontre Wilson. He spurned the Ducks right before signing day a few years ago. Now he's uh, at Ohio State. How has he been at Ohio State? What kind of player has he been for the Buckeyes? Honestly, uh, he's been a little bit disappointing for a lot of the fans. Uh, obviously, he was a, a, a huge hyped up recruit, uh, as Oregon fans know. I mean, they thought he was kind of going to be the next DeAnthony Thomas until he flipped. Um, he hasn't quite lived up to those expectations. He's had some games where he's been rather inconsistent. He's had some drops. Um, but at the same time, he's showed some flashes. And, and I've, I've even commented just to myself or talking to some other people and thinking, thinking to myself, man, he would look really good in that Oregon offense. And, and he does remind me, a lot of his game reminds me of DeAnthony Thomas. But he's, of course, been out since the Michigan State game with injury. So this is going to be, he told me he's 100% and he will play in the national championship game. So if that's the case, this would be his first game back since then. And he certainly feels like he has something to prove because he has had a bit of an up and down career so far uh, at Ohio State. And of course, he's playing in his hometown against the school that, that he was going to originally play for. So there, there's a lot on the line there for him. And, and he was completely willing to admit that. So we know that Ohio State has beaten Wisconsin, beaten Alabama with their third string quarterback, Cardell Jones. Are they doing this in spite of him or is Ohio State's third string quarterback actually that good? Well, I certainly wouldn't say Cardell Jones is any Marcus Mariota, but uh, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say in spite of either because I think the, the performance that he had specifically in the Big Ten championship game was near flawless. Uh, he really did not make any mistakes in that game. Of, of course, that was his first career start. Now, the, the, the test against Alabama was certainly a tougher one, a, a stiffer defense to go up against. But this is, this is a very quarterback-friendly offense, uh, and it's a lot like Oregon's, to, to be quite frank. I mean, we all know that the year that Urban Meyer took off, he spent some time around Chip Kelly and around his offense and studying it. So there's definitely a lot of similarities there, and I, and I do really think that these two offenses are very similar. And... and given that they are pretty quarterback friendly when you think about it. I mean, not to take anything away from Marcus because obviously he's the Heisman Trophy winner and, and we all know that he's going to be the, probably the top pick in the NFL draft coming up uh, and he's kind of a once in a lifetime type of player. But it, it is a very friendly, quarterback friendly offense where you're trying to get the ball out as quickly as possible to a lot of different playmakers and that's very much what Ohio State tries to do. So you're able to plug in different types of guys, uh, even if they're not necessarily the first string or third string or whatever it may be, and, and still have some success because there's so many play playmakers around him. I think the running game has really been a, a big reason why Ohio State's had so much success over the last couple of weeks uh, is because of what Ezekiel Elliott's been able to do. He's really come into his own and, and turned into, in my opinion, one of the better backs in the country. Uh, and that has really opened up a lot of other things that, that, that Ohio State can do offensively. So. I wouldn't say in spite of, but I also wouldn't say that he's necessarily that good. But Cardell definitely presents a lot of challenges for opposing defenses because he's got that combination of just massive size and, and, and a little bit of speed, so kind of deceiving speed. Uh, and, and, I th and I think he might have the strongest arm in college football as well. So in my mind, you are the most qualified person in the country to talk about this matchup because you know both teams so well. So how do you see it playing out? What do you think goes down on Monday night in Dallas? You know, I've kind of gone back and forth on this so far. Uh, it, it's, it's really tough for me to, to kind of predict because, uh, as you said, I do know both of these teams so well. And it is kind of, it, it, it's really intriguing for me to go into a matchup like that where I do know both sides as well as I do. Uh, but I, I think that, like I mentioned earlier, the, the, the offenses are so similar that I think ultimately it comes down to which defense plays just a little bit better, maybe gets the turnover uh, to kind of turn the game around. I, I just think that it's uh, offensively these teams are, are, are so similar, but then you think about the fact that if they're similar, what's the one thing that's different? Well, you've got Cardell Jones, you've got Marcus Mariota. I'll take Marcus Mariota any day of the week. And, and as well as Ohio State's offense, or defense has played over the last couple of weeks, 
I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how the heck they're going to start stop Marcus Mariota, as is I think the rest of the country or any opponent that the Ducks have played this season. So uh, right now I'm giving the Ducks a slight edge. I think it will be a very close competitive game. I certainly wouldn't be shocked by a result uh, with either team winning, but I, I'm giving the slight edge to Oregon right now. I know a lot of Duck fans would like to hear that, but uh, I also wouldn't count out Ohio State because that's what everybody's been doing for the last couple of months. and. That hasn't worked out for uh, many people. Eight days away from the game, can we get a final score prediction from you? Uh, okay, you're going to put me on the spot. That's right. Well, I, I do think it'll be close. I think it's got to be high scoring because we all know that Oregon doesn't win games when they don't score 30 plus points. So I will say 41 38 Oregon over Ohio State. Good thing that this is airing here in Western Oregon and not out there in Ohio, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll change it up if it's, if it's airing here. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Eric, great to have you back on Sunday Sports Extra. We will see you in Dallas. I can't wait. See you guys there. <laughs>